Hello, greetings from the tutoring center at Rock Valley College. Today, you will learn how to use Microsoft PowerPoint to create engaging, fun, and professional slides to highlight and support any presentation. PowerPoint is a useful tool to use when the spoken word is simply not sufficient. How many of you have sat in a lecture where a professor drones on and on without pause? I know I have. Now, how many of you have had lectures where a professor uses slides to emphasize key topics and keep the class engaged? Well, now you're talking. In this lesson, we will guide you on the core elements of PowerPoint. Creating a new slide, inserting content into your slides in the form of text, photos, charts and graphs, shapes, and callouts. Formatting this content to work for you, adding transitions to your slides, viewing your finished presentation, and saving your work so you can use it in class or anywhere else you wish to go with it. Let's get started, shall we? Once you open PowerPoint, you will want to create a new presentation. From this menu, you will see preset templates and themes to choose from. For this instruction, we will select the theme, Urban. Our title slide will contain the topic of our presentation and the name of the presenter. As a sample, this presentation will be on NFL teams in the NFC North division. Once our title slide is created, it's time to make a new slide. You will note there are many templates to choose from. For now, select a blank. A blank slide is an empty canvas to create your own presentation designs. Let's create a title using one of the many available shapes. This banner can be edited to include text. The color, size, and other properties of the banner are also customizable. The banner text can be edited the same way you would change text size and color in Microsoft Word. Next, we will create a text box, the most common tool in PowerPoint. Drag a box on your slide to create the text box, then begin typing your note. Please note you can also format this text the same way you would in Word. Let's add some bullets and adjust the size. Now, let's select a piece of clip art from the vast library found in PowerPoint. I've already searched for a football type image. Simply click on the image to add it to your slide. It is also possible to create a title slide by using one of the templates. Just enter your title and text and PowerPoint will format it for you. Now let's create a new blank slide and demonstrate how you would add a table. Select Insert and notice the table icon in the upper left hand corner. Select the dimensions you would like the table. For us, we will use 2 by 5. Simply insert your headers and type the corresponding data. Tables can be resized once the data is inputted. As you can see, the text remains the same. 
Next, we will add pictures from your hard drive into the table. Click on Insert, Find Picture. Locate your photos on your computer. I have selected four logos to include in the table. Once inserted, it may be necessary to resize your images. There are a multitude of formatting tools available in PowerPoint. For example, I cannot access the Lion logo, so I click on it and bring it to the foreground. Once there, I can drag it and drop it. And as such, I can resize the remaining images and fit them into the chart. Lastly, let's create a brand new slide and demonstrate how to input your own graphs, tables, and charts. Simply click on Insert and select Chart. There are a multitude of charts to choose from. We'll select a simple bar graph. Once you have selected your graph, PowerPoint will open an Excel spreadsheet in which you can modify your data, including column headings and column titles. Note, you can even add new columns to the spreadsheet. As you edit the data in your spreadsheet, you will see it reflected on your chart in PowerPoint. Once you have finished adding your data, you can resize the chart and modify it in PowerPoint. You can even select new ways in which to display your data. For example, I will select a new color scheme for our bar graph. You can even change the entire chart altogether. Here we will switch to a conical depth graph. Now that our presentation is complete, we can add some style with animations and transitions. The first slide contains four bullet points, which we can animate to fly into the screen one at a time. This is only one of many animations available for use. In addition to animations, you can also select sound effects if you so choose. Sound effects will play when the animation occurs. Each slide must also transition from one to another. Here we will select a fade to black. As you can see, there are a multitude of transitions from slide to slide to choose from. Now you're ready to see your presentation in full. Simply click slideshow and press from beginning to view your presentation from the start. Now you need only sit back and click through to view your work. More advanced users will be able to select timing options in which transitions and animations occur automatically. With your work concluded, you need only save your file to share with your classmates. Simply save the file as a PowerPoint file as a presentation slideshow or as a series of images which you may choose to display independently of the presentation. We hope you enjoyed this podcast and look forward to bringing you more advanced lessons in PowerPoint in the future.